Personalized medicine is already to a certain extent what we do now, except it's doing this even better. So the idea behind personalized medicine is that we're going to provide the right care for the right patient at the right time. And what I mean by that is whether you're sick or whether you're well, we're going to try and individualize and come up with a more precise care plan for you so that we can make fewer mistakes and we can get to the right type of treatment for you in a faster time with fewer side effects and reduced cost. Part of this is about patients who are already sick. So patients who come in, for instance, with cancer, with some sort of neurological condition or cardiac condition, trying to assess and understand precisely what is the cause of that problem? What is the cause of their renal failure? What's the cause of their heart failure? So that we can actually get at the root cause, be able to get at the molecular etiology of what's causing their problem to try and fix it. On the other hand, there are some people who are well, and we want to keep them that way. And so for that, it's trying to also predict in the future, are they going to be at risk for any particular types of condition? Cancer, heart disease, neurological conditions, and be able to get two steps ahead of the game prevent those problems well before they become symptomatic, but still minimizing the time that we have to treat a person or being able to give them medications or interventions so that we can help them to live the most full and productive lives by minimizing any dangers that might come to them by any interventions that we might give them.